Hey there, and welcome to your Total Body Workout. My name is Coach Meg. What you need are household tools, dumbbells, barbells, kettlebells, weights, plates, whatever you have handy. You're going to want a variety. In front of me, I have from 5 to 20. So I have four opportunities to just see what I truly want to utilize. Now remember, you're never stuck. So I want you to feel very confident, competent, and comfortable during your workout today. Along with add another seat, I want you to feel challenged. There are many options and opportunities for each one of us. We just truly have to choose what is right for our body that day. We're gonna do a total body strength training class in approximately 30 minutes. Now, this means we're only going to touch each thing for just a moment. Traditionally, during this, we're gonna use more of a circuit training style. So you're not gonna move to the beat of the music. We're gonna use a timer on the side. You'll hear me call it out. Majority of the time, minus a few moves, we're doing a 45 second work, 20 second rest. Many of us call this Tabata. You could think of it like that. But at the end of the day, because I want us to train together, move together, even though you might use different weights and do a different number of repetitions, we will transition together. Hence why we're gonna get a rest in between. If you ever need additional rest, please go ahead and take it. Taking a drink of water, catching your breath, wiping some sweat off, and feel free to play around with this workout. Maybe you wanna pause me when you replay this and do two to three sets versus the one to two sets I do of each one of the phases as we hit the total body. What do you say, we get started? Awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and set my stuff so I can track this just to see where I'm at in the work. All right, let's bring our feet underneath of our hips. First, what we're gonna do is get our body mobile, moving, and provide a little bit of alignment for movement prep. Bring the hands forward, thumb side up, feet under the hips. You're gonna release and do a little thoracic rotation here. Yeah, a lot of you that pick my stuff, you know that I'm all in for getting the spine mobile so we can take on movement a little bit better. We're also gonna go through ankles, knees, hips, shoulders, elbows, all the things. Now, friendly reminder, I am gonna be up and down from the floor today with you. And so if you want to have a mat close, if you wanna have a bench close, an ottoman, a countertop, a stair, you can choose some different opportunities for you. Last one, pause here in the front. Step the feet just a little wider. And here's the next play. We're gonna squat down, reach towards the floor, reach up. So you're gonna pull the thumbs up and back. That way you can slide your shoulders down into your back pockets. Pressing the knees wide to the middle of your toes and sit the hips back and down. All right, so we all train a little different. We're all in different modes and different spaces and places and how heavy we lift. Some of us are gonna be doing body weight today. Some of us, when we play this, we're gonna be using really heavy weight. I want you to choose for you. All right, let's go ahead and pause. Feet under the hips. We're gonna take a backward stepping lunge. In the lunge, I want your feet like your own railroad tracks and they track straight back. Back knee is gonna head south. Front knee right over that ankle. Ah, keep going. Keeping the chest up, shoulders over hips. Next, we're gonna step that left leg back long. Bring our hands down, drop the left knee down, hug the right knee in towards the shoulders. Press the chest forward, getting a little stretch. You can also have that knee off the ground if you choose. Just getting an inner thigh stretch, hip flexor, and a little movement prep. Plank position, left leg, and maybe you gotta help that leg forward. Bring the hands inside, press to the ground, chest open, All right, so we're gonna step our feet super wide, keep the hips dropped. And I'm gonna face the front so you can see it. Ah, so I just want you to roll around. Lift the heels, roll around. And maybe you're like, yeah, Meg, uh-uh. And so I want you to just be right here in your squat. Maybe you feel like you can come down here, 
chest is gonna be up. And you can take your time. Right now I'm just looking for a little mobility around the ankle, knees, and hips as we drop. Give me a couple more each side. Ooh, kind of feels good, doesn't it? <laughs> I think so too. All right, let's go ahead. Find that spot, press through both feet, stand on up. Whew. Little arm circles to the front. Arm circles to the back. All right, are you ready? Yeah? All right, me too. So we're gonna start with three different moves. 45 seconds each and then 20 rests. We're gonna do two rounds of it. First one, you're gonna have two dumbbells if you can. Feet out, say the hips. Dumbbells are gonna face the shoulder, thumb to the shoulder. We're gonna go squatting, down and up, front load squat. Second move, squat, press. Third move, feet under the hips, dumbbells come down, hang by the side, straight leg deadlift. So what's gonna happen is feet under the hips, pushing the rear back, keeping the flat, of the back or neutral spine. We'll talk about it along the way. Grab your tools. All right, coming at you. Squat. Front rack, thumbs to the shoulder, feet out to the hips. Here we go. This is not about speed. This is about that range. If you have lighter weight, you can sure go quicker than me. It is all up to you. Really brace the belly. As the hips go down and back, stopping around the knee line. Knees are gonna push forward towards the middle of the toes and out. The knees won't pass the toes and we'll really keep the chest up here. Option would be turning the palms to the shoulders. You choose what feels best. You can still touch your body right there with the plates or the dumbbells. Rest. Woo wee. Oh, nicely played. So we're gonna get ready. Coming up next, we are gonna go right into squat press. Grab your weight. Here it is. Squat press. Feet still on side hips. Squat down. Press up. So we're transferring weight. Legs, core, arms, right off the top. Eyes forward. Push. Yeah. So you want to use the power from the floor to get that overhead press. Bicep slightly in front of face. Big movement. And I'll show you some options next round. Yes. Come on, team. You and me. Hey, two people can be a team. Yes, we can. Time, rest. Next time, double trouble. We're gonna do deadlift. Cool, I may go for the side from that. Button down. Whew. Heart rate went somewhere. All right, let's bend our knees. Pick it up. Shoulders down and back. Straight leg deadlift. Push the hips back, flat in the back. Now some of us might just go to our knees. That way we can keep that pinch between the shoulder blades. Some of us have the ability and mobility to keep the shoulders pinched flat back and go a little lower. Choose for you. Bring the chin in like you're holding a grapefruit. Grow through the crown of your head as you tip and get a drink out of that little kid drinking fountain. There we go, come on. Rest. Now this next time, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold one plate, just in my collarbone. So maybe for some of you, that means you can go heavier. Maybe you got laundry detergent close by. You choose. This means I'm gonna go lighter, but I'm gonna do a few more repetitions this way. Let's pick it up. Feet outside hip. Here we go. Squat down and up. At the top, I want you to squeeze the front and the back of your legs at the same time. 
So our hips are not thrusting forward, but our hips do return under the shoulders. And shoulders pinch back behind us, so they return over the hips. Uh, so you notice I have I'm a little bit more pace this time with a little less weight. You choose. Love to see you lift heavy, hit 10 reps, maybe a little lighter, and hit 15 to 20. Rest. Oh, next is gonna be a squat press. I'm gonna keep a single dumbbell again. Squat press overhead. Oh, heart rate's creeping again. What do you say? Yeah? You and me, let's pick it up. From the side, so you can see the elbows, feet outside hips. Let's go. Squat to press. So I don't hesitate to push up. That's part of that motion, part of that drive, or speed. Yeah. Really using total body here. Lower core, arms. Right out. Yes. Now, elbows are staying away from thighs. Chest remains up. Up. Yeah. I want you to feel like, oh, you got some energy, and you're almost getting ready to jump. I reach for the top. Time. Double trouble. Double leg, sing with the deadlift. Oh, sinking those hips back. Weight knees, hand, then our knees pick it up. So you're gonna see the crown of my head as I bow forward. You and me, let's go. Now you could use one dumbbell, holding both hands on it, right in front. Big thing, pull the chest through so I can see what's written on your t-shirt today. If I could see you, right? <laughs> you got it. into that full range. Press through the whole foot, heel to toe. Soft bend in the knees. Ah, yes. Dig in. Time. Beautiful. All right, so I want you to shake that out. I'm just gonna set up for my next. All right, so we're catching a little recovery here. As you catch recovery, I want you to bring your eyes on me. Next, we got two moves. First one is 30 seconds long. We're gonna hold a plank, high plank here, hands under shoulders, option on the knees. You can be on an incline, so maybe your hands are on a counter or an ottoman. Make sure it's not moving away from you, and your shoulders can be forward, bony parts of the elbows face back, soft pocket forward. Great, second move. I'm gonna show you from a kneeling position. We're gonna come right here. We're gonna alternate single arm row, okay? You could do this from a standing position. It would be hinged and row here. You just have to choose, okay? It's all up to you. So, what do you say, two rounds? I think so. is coming on. First one is 30 second plank hold. Coming at you in three, two, one. Here it is. Super strong here. Again, turn the soft pockets forward. Feet just outside the hips. Squeeze the heels in and then pull the shoulders away. Good news, you're halfway. Oh, I'm dripping some sweat, friends. Come on, you and me. Press through the earth, shoulders away. Long spine, belly is in, like you're tightening your belly so somebody could tickle you. Rest, ha! Huh. All right, shake out the arms for me. Either go to your standing for alternate, or come down on the knees so we can isolate a little bit more. Now we don't want our hips to move, right? So we're gonna try to keep stability here. All right, all fours, go. Pulling the hand towards the hip, Pulling the elbow higher than body. Change 
Make sure you're pressing through the other hand down. If you need to change your weight, change it accordingly. This is working up posterior chain. Again, pulling the hands to the hips. Ah, yes. Big stabilizer here. Shoulders are engaged with that back. Little triceps and biceps too. Rest. One more time through. Plank position and then row. So it almost feels like a renegade row, which would be from a plank position. So if you're looking to make it harder, you could sure go to that plank position. Otherwise, stay with me on the knees or go to standing if knees are bothering you today. Come on down, plank. Let's go, 30 seconds. So this is a total body move here, believe it or not. Push to the earth, pull the shoulder blades back and almost shift slightly forward. So you feel like you're looking over a cliff for the edge. Yeah, I know, I feel that way too, I'm with you. All right, so lift the hips up a little bit and then pull the weight forward, squeeze the heels in, push through the toes. So many things, tighten your legs. Did you tighten your belly? Do it with me. Awesome, rest. So we're gonna go into single arm rows. After this, we're gonna hit some chest and bridges. Sounds like a good plan. All right, set it up. Kneeling or standing? Go. And then control down. So here's the thing, let's fight gravity today. So we resist it is what I'm chasing after. Ugh, come on. Woohoo! Got this. Can you give me 10 more seconds here? You and me. To fight through this tip together. Time. Oh, so I'm gonna adjust so I can show you. Here is what is coming next. Next is gonna be chest press with an option of bridge. So your weight, moderate. You're gonna come back. Palms are gonna face towards the thighs. Here's the deal. Feet hip distance apart. You can either just pull the elbows wide, avoid touching the ground just shy of the ground and then you're going to press or you can press and release press and release and you can also do one press one hip bridge you choose I want you to just feel confident and comfortable so let's get ready coming at you we just have two sets of these back to back Roll it on back. Have your hands right over your shoulders. Here we go. So we're gonna open the chest like a book, pulling the elbows out. So again, you could be right here, chest press only. Or hip bridge, pressing the hips up. Feeling that chest lift and then press the shoulder blades down in the ground as you drive up. It almost feels like that lever helps you on the way down. Now the elbows are down from the shoulders, no matter what we're doing here. So we can protect the shoulders. Time. You can do a little sit up so you can set down the weights, shake it out. You can also twist side to side. All right, you and me, roll it down. Here for chest. Choose your options, decide. Just press or plus bridge. Here we go. I'm gonna do five, chest press only. All right, so now I'm gonna do chest press and bridge. You choose for you. I'm pressing through my heels. 
And maybe you like it and you just even want to stay up in the bridge. You find that coordination easier. So I'm trying to test you today. Ah, there we go. Come on. <clears throat> Almost in. You've got this. Come on. Time. Whew. All right. Stand on up. Shake it out. We're changing. Compound movement-ish. <laughs> really what I want to say. Multiple muscle groups are going to get hit with this next one. Biceps, shoulders, triceps. So you want a weight that you can control up over the head. So check this out. Feet under the hips. Hammer curl, thumb to the shoulders. Press overhead. Tricep extension up. Bring it back to shoulders and down from the side. Hammer, press, extend, press, return. That tricep extension is going to be the name of the game in regards to how heavy you go. I'm going to start with my tons and I might be dropping to my eights. <laughs> yes? Okay. Let's start from the top. 45 seconds on the clock and three, one, bicep curls. Yeah, so you notice that my eyes track forward. Elbows stay narrow. And I'm gonna soften my knees and then squeeze my bum a little. The reason I do that is that's gonna help my spinal alignment. So I can stay engaged in my legs, avoid overarching in my back. It actually even helps me from swaying or swinging during any of the movement. Yes. Rest. Set it down, shake it out. You got one more round of that, and then we're gonna change it into lunges and side raise. All right, ready? Let's grab the weights. Soften the knees, brace the belly. Here it is. Curl, cross, curl, down. Ooh, we gotta add the tricep extension. Ah, uh, there we go. You're letting us cheat. No more cheating for us, is there? Did you like that weight? Did you keep the same with me? Did you say you're heavy? This is definitely my heavy for this. Quality movement first. Whew, come on. We have 15 seconds. Are you checking in that tricep extension that the elbows stay narrow? Try, right here. Yes, better. Come on. Awesome. Catch a rest, shake out the arms. Holy goodness. All right, so the next one, we got lunges, and then we're gonna go into some core work. All right, so for the lunges, what I want, lighter weight, because we're gonna hold the lunge, go up and down, and it looks like this. So we're gonna, 90 degrees with the arms. Step, drop, step, return. Step, drop. When you drop, arms are only going as high as shoulders. Keep it a small movement. Play time? All right, let's do it. Coming at you in three, two, one. Coordination here, leg training, shoulders, just a little burn. Front knee's gonna be over ankle. Trying to get that front thigh parallel to the ground. Yes. What if we only had 10 seconds left and then we gotta rest? You're with me, right? Okay. Time, rest it. Next, a little change, front raise coming. Same drill, step, 
drop, step in. Front raise, still shoulder height, arms go forward. Let's do this. Show you from the side. So step, drop, step in. My palms are facing my thighs and then facing the ground. Toes still forward. And you could break it up to go a little faster. So you gotta have that range of motion first and that control. Pulling the shoulder blades back as you drop. Yes, there we go. Almost done. Time. All right, shake it out. Next piece. Feet outside the hips, you need some distance. We're gonna squat. Walk it out, plank. Walk it back, squat to stand. You wanna add more, you can give a push up on knees or on toes. Yes? Ha, why not? Come on down with me. Listen, feet outside the hips. I should say, come on up with me, have some space. Option. You could do this, where you squat, reach out. You could always walk twice, squat, and back in. You can kind of play. Maybe you can walk up and out to an incline. All right, from the top, here we go, inchworms. Squat, walk it out, shoulder mobility. Yeah, core and shoulders. Make sure to rock back to the hips, heels to rise. That squat is your big transition here. So this is total body here. Definitely got a lot of core. Shoulder stability as we learn to walk on our hands. Shoulders and back, core, we want them super strong. Now you're almost there. Last bit. All right, rest. You got this. We got one more time through. After this, we're gonna hit core and you're gonna slide right out. Let's get back into that inchworm. Come on down. Remember, you do not have to do the push-up. And you can also do the push-up from the knees. Knees just would come down, keep the toes on the floor. Take that chest to elbow height. That's it. Face track forward. The elbows can pinch back. Or making a little bit of that arrow or that triangle up at the top. Keeping the back long and strong, hips engaged, quads engaged, even during that push-up, always. Last one. Rest. Woo. Oh, what do you say? Are we coming down to the ground? I think so. Let's do this. So we got two moves coming. Double crunch. You could use a weight or not. Hands reach overhead, reach out, toes tap away. We're gonna keep the lower back engaged by bracing the belly because we don't want a big arch when the legs go down. We want to keep it engaged. So the lower back is towards the floor, most likely won't be flat. Second movement. You may add weight or not. We're gonna do a hip bridge, lifting up and down. Yep, feet will stay hip distance apart when we do that. We got two rounds, so let's go ahead and come on in and play. Bring it on back. Here we go. Double crunch. 45 seconds to train, 20 rests, just like we've been doing. So here's the thing. Shoulders come up, chin tucks in. Eyes are gonna lift to the tips of your toes. If that's too much, leave the feet down for a couple reps. 
thumbs are gonna track up and over the shoulders to gain a little shoulder mobility too. Ribs slide to hips. If you're using the legs, knees are gonna stop over the hips. There we go. Give me a few more here. Reach it on through. I know. Come on. All the way in. Rest. All right, so get ready for the bridge. I'm gonna get our music back on. Ah. Uh, last moments are in. All right, feet hip distance apart. Get ready for that hip bridge. Let's lift up and down, up and down. So we're trying to press the hips as high as we can to the ceiling. Press the heels down into the floor and the knees are right over ankles. You can have the hands on the hips or you're gonna palm side down, triceps down on the ground. Shoulders away from ears. Feel how you must roll into the shoulders as the hips go up. Yeah, that's it. We've got it. We're just trying to finish to the core, front to back for this total body work today. Rest. One more time with that double crunch. Remember that opportunity if you wish. Maybe you got a plate close by. You can join me if you wish. So we're gonna make ourselves tight like a ball and then reach out and expand. Toes so tapping the floor. Here we go. So crunch and reach. So I'm just gonna take that plate right over my knees so I can get my shoulders a little higher. I'm not letting that plate touch the ground. I'm trying to tap my toes further away from my hips so I can engage my lower abs. So we're upper and lower here. Obliques are gonna play due to the arm movement. Come on. Almost there. Hold on with me. Now, maybe you want to keep that weight, put it on the hips, feet hip distance apart. Last movement. Take a breath in. Do it again, set the feet. Let's lift up and down. Pressing the hips high to that ceiling again. Option is no weight. I almost feel like you squeeze into the midline here as you do this. Yeah. Make the bum tight like a pile of rocks. Like you're trying to explode and shoot the hips right up. Press into the heels. All right, you and me, we are almost done. Time. Whew. Give yourself a little hug. Bring the knees in. You can roll on that back a little bit. Ah, oh, beautiful job. So that is 30 minutes of total body. Highly encourage you. Catch some stretching through the arms, through the legs. And catch your breath. <laughs> so feel free. Send us some comments, questions, and let us know how we can help support you. Coach Meg's right here. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.